Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, this video is just from the get-go. We're doing what we what we usually do, and that's uh, repair things on the Opel Corsa. And what happened is that the starter stopped working, and now I've got to have a look and see what's going on. I, I'm assuming it might be the brushes, and our starter sits right here at the bottom. So guys, first thing you want to do is loosen your positive on your battery. Let's get that off so we know there's no power going through. No power going through to the actual starter or anywhere else on the actual vehicle. The important thing to do here, just loosen that up. So just before you get started on this job, please make sure that you've got a good jack underneath and make sure that you've got your, your jack stands underneath as well and that you've got a, a chock at the back that's holding your wheel, whether it's a brick or a plank, whatever it is. Uh, I like to also put my spare wheel underneath just in case because when I'm underneath here I'm only going to have one or two chances to survive if something happens and I like to make sure that everything's in place um, you know so that I can survive uh, first thing we're going to do we're going to loosen it's a size 19 bolt it joins straight onto the starter it sits on the side of the engine and it's difficult to show you here but that's where it is there over here yeah, this is the what you're looking at is the my spanner 19 spanner that's going to loosen that bolt there so let's just do it let's take it from this video is going to be a little bit shaky but there's nothing i can do about it but this is where you start this it's that's him over there this guy here it's your starter he's got three bolts that holds him in place um, i'll show you from the other side and once again apologies for the camera work but that's just how it is today we're gonna have a bit of blurriness because it's all handheld that you start this sitting there that's how he looks he's got a 13 nut that sits there to which the power wire is attached and then also we've, that's your earth wire at least and then we've got the uh, we've got the the positive wire attached to the solenoid on top of it there now i suspect that inside the starter itself that the brushes have probably gone and we're going to see how we can resolve that Difficult to get the angle in, but yeah, let's see. I have loosened it, so. So another bolt you want to loosen first, at least another nut you want to loosen is this one here. That's where the positive comes from the battery. You want to get him loose now, because it'll be difficult to loosen once you have uh, uh, loosened your, your main bolts. So we're going to loosen this one first now, and then we're going to do that one in the back there. It's got the earth attached to it there. So we want to loosen that one after this. Both of them are 13 uh, nuts uh, and we will loosen them now. There we go. And he's loose now. That's it. And we need a 13 socket in here as well as an extension. Get that out. Let's put it down. Next up, we've taken, we've loosened this one, but we're gonna take him off completely. So once you've removed the 19 mil uh, bolt that goes in here, uh, you're going to be able to move this pipe around. This is your your pipe that goes to to your water, to your radiator. So the thing about it is, you don't want to move it too much. You just want to be able to get in the back. If you look down there, in this area here. You will see that there's a bolt there and that's the next bolt you want to get to okay guys so uh, there's your starter that's what he looks like haven't seen him before looks pretty standard luckily these are not complicated starters uh, they are more modern but they are much better to work with uh, parts are available for them um, and i'll say make sure that you keep all your, your bolts everything now together so that you know later on you're not going to have any issues um, with um, uh, finding them because if you lose one now it's going to be a problem so let's get started let's have a look inside this inside the starter so the first thing we want to do is to actually take off this nut here as well I think it's going to be a 13 we we'll take our 13 ring just loosen them up Ok, 
Okay, we're gonna loosen that guy off. Take the washer off. Get him off. So that's loose now. I've already loosened these two long bolts. You'll find them inside there and they come out from here. You loosen them, take them out. So you're gonna take you're gonna take off this cover. What you're gonna find is there's a clip that holds this in place here. So what that what that looks like is this guy here. You put him one side, guys keep everything together. Just keep everything together. There's a washer. And then this cover will come off. Okay. And this is your brushes. Now when you buy this they give you an installation uh, a holder you'll see it soon when I when I get the actual brushes you'll see it once it comes out and I can just show you before it comes out okay my apologies we do need to loosen this guy That's your brush, your brush ring that comes out. You buy this as a unit. So I'll show you how that looks. Some of them fall into here. That's what your brushes look like. And as you can see, there should be four of them inside the ring. There will be four inside this ring. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four. And that's it so now we're going to have a look if we can find this thing and see if we can put the unfortunately guys i was unable to to record the installation of the brushes due to technical uh, problems and um, yeah it was unfortunate but but uh, it's it's not difficult and um, it is possible for you to do it and i'll try and and, and cover it in in another video put it in you on inside so guys what we're doing now is we're just going to uh, test the actual uh, starter so there's a couple of ways of doing it you can just use your battery as you see we've got the battery cables uh, connected in the right order obviously a negative on that side positive on that side and we've got our negative which is the earth joined to the body of the of the starter now to test it there's two two ways of testing it the first thing we're going to test for is just the fact that does it spin uh, we've always installed our new brushes now so we're just going to check does it spin so the second thing we're going to do is just to test the solenoid and see if it engages the starter to the actual flywheel so let's do the first test which is just the spinning let's just get closer to the camera let's hit it again oh. you see it goes forward and comes back again and we tested it on the small little on the small uh, 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 Connected. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Loopers. <laughs> but now there's something puzzling me here. You can switch it off just for a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Um, this normally, when you just go straight from there to there, the yeah. starter will swing, but it won't engage the solenoid. It did that just now. It did it. Did it? Yeah. Did you touched there on that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, no, on this one. Yeah. It's just spinning. It's just spinning. It's just not kicking out. It's not kicking out. Okay. There we go. Try it again. Yeah. Okay. So that's working. So that's working. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah. I think we're good. So that is the way that we test our, our starter. So that was the two ways. So if you ever have a starter out one day and you want to test it before you put it back so that you don't have the headache of putting it back and then it doesn't work, that's the way to test it. So we've done all of that now. Let's see what happens. Is it going to start? Yes or no? As you can see, all's well, starting first time, much better, no more pushing. So after a couple of hours of work and uh, 
bit of running around to various spare shops, auto electrician. Uh, this is what we have to show for it. Uh, we've got our, um, our brushes here. That's it. That's how it looks. That's what it looks like. Four brushes. The brushes you're going to buy in a kit and you're going to find it most probably at an auto electrical. I'm sure there are some spare shops that will sell it, but uh, you may have to go to quite a few of them before you find the correct ones. So I hope this video was uh, beneficial. It's uh, like I said, yeah, the, 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 I didn't cover all the steps, but I, I hope that it's giving you some insight into what goes into to changing the brushes on the starter for the Opel Corsa 1.4.